Black Friday is upon us once again, and I am gonna take this time to review, in my opinion, what should be called the Black Friday laptop. I'm talking about none other than this, the Samsung Chromebook 3, which it seems like it goes on sale every single Black Friday since it came out, and it sells for less than $100, basically from anybody out there. And that's awesome, $100 for a laptop in any world is awesome. So we're gonna review this right now. I'm gonna tell you guys whether you should buy this or not and get you ready for this year's Black Friday. So right off the bat, I'm gonna say that the specs on this laptop do not matter. We're looking at an Intel Celeron processor with only two gigabytes of RAM. So all in all, that's an older processor, not a lot of RAM here. I mean, it's not that great in terms of performance, obviously, because it's a less than $100 laptop. But to a lot of people, this is plenty enough to do what they need to do. For example, I used to work at this organization that tried to help people who were down on their luck, meaning people had, had nothing to their name and they had no job and they really had no skill set. And what this organization would do is they would pick them out from the streets, give them a shelter, give them a suit or a dress or some sort of professional looking wardrobe, and then we would re-educate them about how to interview for a job. We have a sit down, work on their resume, and try to reintegrate them into society. And I, I, I totally, after starting this tech channel, have not thought about that for a long time, but a $100 laptop like what this Chromebook can do, running Chrome OS, having the ability to have Google Docs, Google Drive, everything on here for the resume, for just typing notes and things like that, and access to the internet, it goes a long way. $100 for a laptop, something easy to use with emails, it could really help a lot of people out there. Forget your kids. Your kids probably have nicer Chromebooks than this from their schools. This is for people who desperately need some sort of computing and Windows, the $100 ones do not perform anywhere near what a $100 Chromebook can perform. And the better Windows devices or cost more, this literally can do everything somebody in that position can and will need to, to get back on their feet. So this, the Samsung Chromebook 3's display is 11.6 inches. It's only 720p and it's not glossy. So it's a matte finish. It's a little bit difficult to look at, honestly, from different angles. And the colors are very muted. It's not a great viewing experience, but you know, honestly, as long as you can visually look at it and get your work done, that's what, this laptop does. Don't expect anything too crazy, too exciting. It doesn't overperform its price point. That's exactly what I'm saying. But don't let the price point fool you because this laptop has plenty enough ports to get things done. It has two USB ports, one that's a two, one that's a three, and it also has an HDMI and also a micro SD slot. So that's actually plenty of slots to get whatever you need done using this laptop. Battery life on here is not that great at 4,400 milliamp hours for the battery size. It's pretty small and I honestly cannot really get through a full eight hour workday. Uh, you have to plug in that really bulky power cord into this. There's no USB-C for power because this is an older laptop. One thing I'm pleasantly surprised about is the keyboard. This typing experience is rather decent. The keys travel well enough, deep enough to feel comfortable without making too much noise while you're typing and it doesn't feel too cheap. I, I actually do like these plastic keys on here. And although this is an older style Chrome OS layout, meaning that we have all the shortcut keys at the top, but no Google Assistant button, we still have that app drawer button uh, in, the, in, in the symbol of a magnifying glass like the old days, that's how they did it. Uh, so I actually do like this keyboard. The arrow keys all feel nice. The typing experience feels good. Now the trackpad is a little cheap feeling because once again, this is less than hundred dollars, but it, it, it serves its purpose. It's a little tight for my liking. This is a relatively compact, small laptop space, but it, it works fine. It, the gestures, everything seems to work here. So let's talk about the Android apps because the Android apps is what makes this 
overperform its price point, right? The Android space has so many apps that you can use and it completely changed Chrome OS. So these lower end devices, lower price devices, if you can run certain apps that you need to perform whatever business aspects you need, that's very beneficial to have at this price point. So I tried a few apps on here, they do lag. I'm not gonna lie about that right off the bat. They do lag more so than using it on the Pixel Book that I just reviewed not too long ago, or like a Samsung Chromebook Plus with the Core M3. This processor and, and all the factors revolving around this operating system here, they do tend to bog down on certain apps, but the apps, most of the time do run. There are some games like higher intensive games that I have been able to run on other Chromebooks that I have not been able to run on here. But for the most part, most of the apps that I've tried do run. And although this body is made of plastic, I do like the look and feel of this laptop. It is a little heavy, but it is compact overall. You can carry it easily and it's non-intrusive. It looks like a business laptop. I also reviewed the Epic Chromebook, which is another $100 Chromebook I checked out from Walmart. And that laptop was very colorful, very out there right away. It, it, it was just a different type of material. This one is very sleek, very clean. And although it's very cheap, I do like that Samsung made it a business professional looking Chromebook for the very, very low end price point. Well, that's about it. I can say without a doubt that this laptop isn't for everybody. However, any laptop out there for under $100 that can do what this thing can do with the Android apps it has, there's a market for it. There has to be a market for it. And I'm glad Samsung has this out there. I'm glad it goes on sale every year on Black Friday for less than $100 because it does open up a lot of possibilities for some people out there who do need something like this. Uh, but I surmise for most of you guys out there, you'll spend a couple of hundred dollars more for an Acer, a, um, a Zeus, or even heck the Google Pixelbook Go, which is a terrific laptop that I reviewed um, earlier. But yeah, this, this definitely has a market on uh, Black Friday for under hundred dollars. Go check it out if you really need a computer and don't have a lot of money because this will work out for you. It'll, it'll get you back on track. Once again, I'm Alex of Sitno Tech. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know what you guys are excited for for Black Friday. Uh, any great deals you guys want us to check out to review. And we'll see you guys next time. And that's it. Be sure to subscribe here. Hit the bell button so you don't miss any of our videos. And check out our other videos right here. Until next time.